Right, hi everyone. Um, quick video. Uh, this is really just to show another mod for the master system. Right, I've been checking online to try and do a hard reset, which means to switch the power off without having to do this all the time because I have a flash cart now, which requires constantly when you're playing a game, you've got to switch it off, switch it on. So what I wanted to do was fit a reset switch, which I've done here. So obviously this this is just a bit of background with this master system. It's converted to um, RGB via, like I did in the previous video eight years ago, years and years ago. It's, it's got a basically uh, an RGB connector there, goes to a SCART. So it's converted and also it's converted to... Um, NTSC PAL, but it, the other video shows all that anyway. Um, so I built this. I also built this um, adapter. It's a bit. It's a bit just quick, quick, quick and easy. Just to just to do it, check it, and it converts from the master system pad, which is the master system pad's quite um, hard to use to a converted Mega Drive pad, um, which is being rewired. Anyway. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of the video is to show quickly the reset mode. So at the moment, it's running at its kit, which is the built-in game. And basically now, if you hear, if I press this little button on the side, you'll hear a click, which is using a relay, which will cut the power and reset, hard reset it, which means go back to, like it's been switched on and switched off at the, the power switch there. So quickly press it. And let go and that resets the machine so i'll show you on screen um so we got this kid and i'll press the button and release there we go so it resets so with a flash cartridge i'll show you now put the flash cartridge in switch on right there you go it comes up with the it comes up with the boot screen. Okay, so let's pick a game. Actually, I'll pick the game that's in memory. This saves the game in memory. Now this this cartridge is not doesn't allow you to reset through software on the cartridge. I'm sure there's a soft soft Alex, my brother said, I'm sure there's a soft way software software way of doing it. But at the moment, do a hardware mod. So I start the game that's in. Okay, so it's got Sonic. There it goes, chirping away. So what I'm going to do now is press the button. So I'll leave you on. I'm going to press this button here. So I'm going to show you quickly on the screen. Here we go. There we go. So it just makes it easy for you to return to the, the menu screen on the cartridge to then reboot your next game. Anyway, I hope that's a bit of a help. Um, I've looked online as well and uh, can't find anything about a, a software uh, res reset like the uh, Master System 1 had. It had a button on it, but not a hardware reset on these uh, these cheaper cartridges. Um, obviously, if you buy a Ever Drive, which is hundreds of pounds, you know, you, you've got this facility on board, the software on the cartridge. But anyway, I hope you find that interesting. I'll just give you another picture around it. So you've got a very, very small switch on the side. Um, there you go. So it's just discreet, and yeah. And I've obviously got the power power light indicator under the pause button as well. Okay, signing off. Cheers.